You're watching Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. And if you love the Ravens and want more videos from us here at Chat Sports, then like today's video. That way I can show my bosses at Chat Sports, see, they do want more. So help me help you. Like today's video right now. This is Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. I am Tom Downey here with latest rumors on the Baltimore Ravens. And we got a pretty juicy one to get things going today. Could Amari Cooper come to Baltimore? The trade rumors have been around Cooper for, I uh, call it weeks now at this point. But the latest update is that the Cowboys might just end up cutting Cooper altogether. The Ravens previously had been mentioned as a more speculative trade destination. You might remember the Bleacher Report article out there saying, well, what if they traded a pick in Marcus Peters for Amari Cooper? We broke that down for you, of course. So if Cooper does get cut, well, could the Ravens just sign him instead? Potentially could be cheaper for Baltimore. Now, Cooper, who has proven to be a number one wideout in the past, has not been great, or excuse me, was not great the past year. His numbers went down in no small part to miss, missing basically three games due to COVID-19. The Ravens, if they were to add Cooper, would have their most reliable, steady, proven wide receiver on this roster in quite a while. There would still be room for Marquise Brown and still be room for the cheap Rashad Bateman, and maybe you give Brown more slot reps. Cooper has shown he can play in the slot as well. Now, that would mean you say goodbye to Sammy Watkins. Oh, no. Yeah, whatever. Devin DuVernay is still on your team. Tylen Wallace, James Fisher. So there's actually great depth and great talent on that Ravens receiving room in the event they were to sign Amari Cooper. And you would be doing so assuming you get much closer to 2020 Amari Cooper production. His targets and catches went way down this year. Fewer games. Yards went down. Drops stayed steady. Touchdowns actually went up. If the Cowboys do cut him, there will be no shortage of interest in Amari Cooper. So should the Ravens be one of those teams? Type S if you want to go out and sign Amari Cooper. Type in P if you would rather pass on him. Sound off for me in the comments section right now. Cooper, when he signed his deal with the Dallas Cowboys after they allowed him to hit the open market and get that contract bidded up, well, he is... $20 million per year. Mike Williams, by the way, right inside this conversation with his new deal from the Los Angeles Chargers. Then there's DeAndre Hopkins, Julio Jones. I don't think that Amari Cooper would command $20 million again on the open market. I think he's a better football player, though, than Mike Williams, so maybe I'm wrong on that front. His contract value is a little bit unclear. If he does get cut, there could be a very real bidding war because... Who's the best receiver out there on the open market beyond Cooper? Allen Robbins coming off an even worse year? I think it would end up being Amari in the event he hits free agency. So if you want Amari to sign with the Ravens, and we'll throw in on the cheap to really get the hopes and speak it into existence flowing here, like this video right now. We'll talk about QBs later on in today's video. And if you want a Lamar Jackson St. Patrick's Day shirt, we got you guys covered on sale, by the way. Chatsports.com slash Ravens Green. Perfect and just in time for St. Patrick's Day this year. This way you can wear green and still rep the Ravens. That link, chatsports.com slash Ravens Green, will be in the comment section and in the description. Draft talk now. Could Trayvon Walker be a fit for the Baltimore Ravens. Walker was a top combine winner, and Bleach Report went through ideal landing spots for each of some of the top combine winners and risers, and they mentioned the Ravens as one of those fits. Now, I would be surprised if Walker were on the board for Baltimore in round one, making it maybe more of the floor for him in this year's draft because, well, he is one of the better prospects, and despite not having great production, is going to go early. The three ideal landing spots for Trayvon Walker, according to Bleacher Report, the Atlanta Falcons, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Three decent fits. I think you should maybe mix in the New York Giants and or Jets in that conversation as well. In the end, I don't think Walker falls to number 14. I think he's gone top nine, especially with Seattle now in the mix for 
the ninth at the ninth overall pick, top 10 with the Jets, he's going to go early, despite not having the best collegiate production. Now, there are a couple ways to look at this, right? Was it, well, because Georgia had all of the good defensive players, couldn't always make the instant impact the way others have been able to? Uh, is it because he was not asked to just pin his ears back and go get the QB? Very possible. Some pros and cons for Walker from my scouting report on him. Dude's built in a lab. I, he's 6'5", 275, his listed size is actually very accurate to his combine weight, and he moves unbelievably well for that size, as fast as the track was this year at the NFL Combine. He played all over the Georgia defensive line. In the NFL, much like Rashawn Gary, he's going to be viewed as an edge rusher. Now, the production was not great. you got to figure out why. Tweener size for some teams, whether it's did you add on 10 pounds, 15 pounds to make him a defensive tackle, or do you like Rashawn Gary, my player comp for him, do you make him even a 3-4 edge rusher? He is mainly a projection. You are banking on a lot of growth with Trayvon Walker, but he has a very real chance to be the best pass rusher out of this entire draft class if he ends up hitting. So who do you want the Ravens to draft in Round one. Lots of different rounds this organization can go. Maybe you want to go with one of his teammates. As I've joked about before, if you just say that Georgia kid, you are right with like four different answers in round one alone. So drop a name or names if you want to be an overachiever in the comments right now. If you want the latest Ravens news and rumors, whether that's draft, trades, or free agency on a very busy NFL Newsday early in March, Hit that big red button. Subscribe. That way you get a video almost every single day on the Ravens. Could the Ravens trade away Tyler Huntley? The Athletic has explored and even suggested a Tyler Huntley trade for Baltimore. The argument was teams are desperate for QB help. So they should call a team like the Ravens and see what the asking price is after Huntley flashed in a limited sample size for the Ravens down the stretch this past year. And contract-wise, oh, he's very cheap. Here's what Ted Wynn of The Athletic had to say. For the teams that want to win now, I wonder how much they would give up for Ravens backup Tyler Huntley, who will be coming into his third season in the league. Huntley went undrafted in 2020, signed with the Ravens, won the backup job last season, and flashed. Big-time traits and legitimate potential filling in for Lamar Jackson. That production was as follows for Huntley. 65%, 1,000 yards, only three touchdowns against four interceptions. The red zone, for whatever reason, wasn't where Huntley was at his best. But he kept them in several games that, you know, most backup QBs, almost all backup QBs, don't keep them in. And much like Lamar... There's dual threat ability here as well. Almost 300 yards on less than 50 carries plus two touchdowns. Would you rather have Tyler Huntley or Mitch Trubisky? Makes you think about it a little bit, despite Huntley being an undrafted free agent out of Utah, who, by the way, should have been drafted. Ted continued, to get the Ravens' attention, the team would have to go as high as a second-round pick. Would a team make that gamble for a QB who flashed some legitimate traits in the NFL? Based on what I've seen from Huntley, I think he'd be worth the gamble considering the positional value. So now the question is, okay, ooh, should the Ravens do that? If you could get a second round pick, is that the type of move you would make? Well, let's ask you guys. Would you trade Tyler Huntley right now for a second rounder? Whether it's mid, early, late, would you do that trade? Type in Y for yes, you would, or N for no, you would not. Now, if the Ravens were to trade away Huntley, I do just want to acknowledge his next part at some capacity. They are a little bit thin at that spot. They have Josh Johnson, the old man as a free agent, who continues to play at a fairly decent level, and Lamar Jackson still not signed to a long-term deal. But for a second-round pick, yeah, I think I'd do that. We'll see if the Ravens actually get any offers for Huntley, but if they do trade him, you know we'll break it down for you here. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Ravens Rundown right now.